Tucked away on the edge of the main road to the airport, the Hyatt Place is the Hyatt's prime Heathrow airport. At £112 of advanced booking, the price was in line with similar four-star airports I have stayed in, but I think the Hyatt has better terms of service. Considering I was arriving at an unusual time, I was pleased that the staff were able to accommodate me, and even better, the bar was open. I ordered a large glass of Prosecco, and there is a very comfortable area near the lobby for seating. Once in the room, it was great to see that Hyatt had laid out some miniature shower gels and shampoo. Even better, the room had a bath. You get a much bigger room than in most of the London hotels, and a bath adds to the feeling of space. Once I had turned off the air conditioning, the room was very warm and temperature was just right. There was not much of a view from the window, so I left the curtains closed, but if you do look outside, you're probably likely to see a large car park or the main road rather than planes taking off. It was a standard double-sized king room with a very soft bed and the duvet was thick enough for my liking. There was a large desk which was ideal for working on and there were other amenities in the room including a fridge, TV and iron. The restaurant and food. As I was leaving early in the morning for my flight I didn't have time to try the hotel breakfast but that being said my room charge didn't include breakfast anyway. According to the website, breakfast is served between 6.30 and 10.30, so there would have just been time for me to eat something ahead of my 7.50 flight. The evening before, I had gone to the bar, and I found there were several customers enjoying drinks at that time. It's always really nice to see people enjoying themselves, rather than going down to an empty bar with a bored barman standing there. The Hyatt Place felt modern and comfortable. It's obviously no beauty in design terms, but it serves its purpose for a stayover. It was not the easiest hotel to reach by bus because most of the buses turn left just before the junction which means that you're going to have to make sure you get on the right bus that actually stops by the hotel. There is one regular service and I had to wait about 10 minutes from Hatton Cross so that I could get to the hotel for my check-in time. I would happily use this hotel again when I have an early morning flight. Okay, that's it guys. Tell me what you think of Hyatt and if you stayed in other hotels you think are better, let me know. I'll see you next time, guys, with another hotel review. Thanks a lot.